Today's video is sponsored by Grammarly. We're gonna be doing some bad things today. And by bad things, I mean drinking and trying lots and lots of iced coffees. Because it's almost May. In fact, I think on the day this will be posted, May will be the next day, which is nuts. I can't believe we're that far into the year already, but it means it is my favorite time of the year, which is iced coffee season. And the other day while looking through TikTok, I was struck by how many people are showing their iced coffee recipes. And there's so many different variations of things you can add to iced coffee. But one of the things that stuck out to me the most was how many different brands of iced coffee people were using. And these people live and swear by their favorite brands. And a lot of them I've never seen or tried before. So you know what that means. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna find as many different types of grocery store iced coffee as I can. We're gonna go through them. We're gonna find out which one is the best one. So I'm not gonna be putting on this apron just yet because we have to go to the store and go get some iced coffees. And also I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Grammarly. I want to give a huge thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that I actually used all the time while I was getting my marketing degree. It's a super easy tool to get started with. All you need to do is download the browser extension, get your free account started, and off you go. The free version of Grammarly will help you through basic grammar and spelling suggestions, but by upgrading to Grammarly Premium, you'll save even more time with their advanced features like creating more concise sentence structures, compelling writing, and finding quality synonyms. And I can testify to how helpful this is because nowadays I use Grammarly when writing video scripts. You all know how much I like to talk and sometimes I find myself describing coffee as nice one too many times. So if you're all ready to get started and save time on your work and emails with Grammarly, go on and head over to grammarly.com MDC to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you save time and work more efficiently. Again, that's grammarly.com MDC or click the link in the description down below. Okay, come on, it's time to go to the store. Okay, so I've made it back from grocery store. One, I found eight different types of iced coffee, so I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, I will say you do get a lot of straight looks walking around with a cart just <laughs> filled to the brim with over a hundred ounces of just black coffee so there is that although it's nothing compared to the time I went to Trader Joe's and then checked out with exclusively like 30 different coffee items so on to the next store we go okay I'm back and I was not nearly as successful as I was hoping for so I'm gonna go to one more grocery store and see what else we can find because I was only able to find three different ones from what we already bought at the first grocery store so be back soon so glad I went to the third grocery store. I found so many things, a couple that I'm super excited about. Anyways, we've got like, like 20 options now. So let's go back and start tasting. Okay, decisions were made. So we have here 17 different types of iced coffees and cold brews. Now I was very, very intentional when buying these. None of these are nitro, none of these are flavored and none of these have added milks in them. And the last thing I wanna say is that there are probably coffees we're gonna taste here today that I like that you don't like at all, or potentially ones that you really, really like, but I don't like at all. Coffee and taste are all very, very subjective person to person. So while yes, I will be finding my favorite iced coffee, hopefully that can give you a little bit of guidance as well if you're looking for your favorite iced coffee. Okay, but with that much said, let's get started. So let's talk about all the bigger coffees we have first. Now we have all of these Starbucks iced coffees. We have their blonde roast, their dark roast, and their medium roast. Next up, we have this cold brew coffee from La Colombe. This is described as a bright and flavorful Colombian coffee. Next up, Califia Farms Medium Roast Cold Brew Coffee. Now, I was really surprised to find this one. This is a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. And I've never had Dunkin' Donuts before, like any of their coffee, so very excited about this one. This is another cold brew coffee. This is the Busy Breakfast Blend. We have Chameleon's Medium Roast Cold Brew Coffee. And I would like to acknowledge that I have made a mistake here. I grabbed this thinking it was a black coffee. It is not. This has milk and cane sugar in it, so I'm gonna knock it out of the running. So we are down to 16 coffees in total. And moving on, we have a cold brew concentrate from Groundwork Coffee. Okay, now come these smaller coffees. First off, I have the Stoke cold brew coffee. Next up, we have a couple different things from Blue Bottle. Two different types of cold brew coffee. This one is described as bright, and then this one is described as bold. Then we also have a very, very cute little carton of iced coffee terrible. This one additionally has milk and sugar blended into it, which is not shown very promptly on the front label. It's like in very, very tiny letters down here. So we're down to 15. It's okay. Mistakes happen. We just move on. Now, this is not a concentrate. This is a fully diluted cold brew coffee from Groundwork. We have a cold brew coffee from Allegro. And finally, we have a cold brew coffee from one of my local favorites, Stumptown. Okay, so how we're gonna get through these 15 coffees that were previously 17. We're gonna start off by tasting all of them black, just as is. 
I'm going to immediately pick out my favorites, which I'm hoping is about half of them. Now, after that, those favorites that we picked out from Tasting Them Black, we're gonna put them through what I'm calling the cream test, <laughs> which is a terrible name, but what we're gonna be doing is adding a small amount of cream to each one of these to see what tastes best with cream added. So, post cream test, hope. <laughs> so after we test it with cream, we're gonna take our final favorites. I am going to mark them all, so I will be tasting them blind, and then we will pick from those final favorites which one is the best one. And then afterwards, we will find out exactly which one that is. I'm gonna test three at a time, but I'm not gonna limit myself to which ones I can pick as my favorites. So if I like two of them, two will go into the cream test pile. If I like one of them, one of them will go. If I don't like any of them, none of them will go. So you see how that goes. You know, at the very least, I will say, I don't see a lot of opportunity for spillage in this video. We have our blonde roast, our medium roast, and our dark roast. And if you can see, there is a pretty decent color differentiation between the blonde roast and the dark roast. So that's kind of fun. First impressions of the blonde roast is that the flavor is not very strong at all, but it's very, very smooth. This is very sippable, drinkable, sippable, whichever you prefer. Medium roast is a lot more chocolatey. The flavors are a little bit stronger. This is also very, very, very sippable. All of these are incredibly smooth so far, which is very, very nice. I've mentioned this before. I'm very, very picky about dark roasts. This one, even as an iced coffee, has sort of like a burnt sort of flavor to it underneath, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's a little bit charred. Now, if I'm choosing to drink one of these again, I think I would definitely choose this medium roast. While I did enjoy the flavors of the blonde roast, I found it to be a little bit too diluted. You don't really get a lot from it. And I think if you add anything to it, you're just gonna immediately wash out any flavor of coffee that's in it. We have our Califia Farms, we have our La Colombe, and we also have our Dunkin' Donuts. Califia Farms has a nice acidity to it. Pretty smooth still. And tastes almost exclusively like dark chocolate. Now this is that La Cologne one that is supposed to be very, very bright and seems to be a single origin. Ooh, much stronger acidity there. The acidity is very much on the front of the mouth too. Super, super light. It just like opens up immediately when it hits your palate. And then Duncan. Has this been sweetened? Oh! <gasps> There's sugar and skim milk in it. All right, well, this one is getting knocked out. That's so sneaky. Duncan, iced coffee, bold and smooth, original coffee beverage. I feel like it should say on the front that there's like milk and sugar in this. You have to go and read the tiny back. My gosh, that's so sneaky. All right, well, this one is getting knocked out of the running. I would drink both of these again. So Califia Farms and La Colombe is moving forward. All right, after that betrayal, we're moving on to find that we have Chameleon, Groundwork, and then Busy. Now this one is a cold brew concentrate and they recommend you do a one-to-one -one ratio of water to cold brew concentrate. So we will be mixing this together with water. Now this is a cold brew. Yes, yes, this is a cold brew. Um, it has a very, very light flavor. It almost tastes more like an iced coffee to me. Everything kind of tastes a little bit washed out with it. So not a huge fan of that one. Mmm. Punchy acidity. But that one's like, that one's spiky. I need to think about this a little bit to decide whether I like it or not. It's funny because these two are very much polar opposites. This one is just packed with flavor, very, very punchy, very, very acidic. This busy one is much smoother, goes down very, very easily, but I'm not getting as much flavor as I might want out of it. So it's like something right in the middle would be ideal. So going by the metric of which one of these I would wanna drink again, I'm gonna stick with the busy. This one was a little bit too underdeveloped for my taste, whereas this one was a little bit too, not overdeveloped, but just a little bit too flashy, a little bit too acidic for my personal taste. So we're gonna go with this one. These two are knocked out. So we've made it past all of our big bottles of iced coffee and we're down to the smaller ones. We have Stoke, we have another groundwork cold brew, but this one is pre-diluted. Then we have Stumptown. First up is Stoke. Stock. I hope it's Stoke, because that's what I've been saying. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I, honestly, that's, it's a little bit sweet, if anything. And I'm, I'm just, I do not think this has any sugar in it, but I'm going to check because I've been betrayed before already in this video. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Now, back to our groundwork. I'm just not, not loving the flavor profile on this one. Again, this one is mellowed out a bit more than the one that I diluted myself, but it's still pretty punchy. Which, uh, although it might be something that you enjoy. So if that's your preferred cold brew profile, maybe this is something for you. But for me, I'm looking for something a little bit more mellow, a little bit more softened. And then Stumptown. Really, really bright. Kind of makes me want to like pinch up my face a little bit. You know, I've had this cold brew many times. Stumptown is local to where I'm at. There are shops all over the area. So I've had their cold brew before. 
However, when facing it against the Stoke one, it makes me kind of rethink my previous opinions of it. And I think, honestly, the one I would drink again is the Stoke. So we're gonna just move forward with this one. Now, last but not least, we have our very, very adorable cans. We have one from Allegro, and then we have two from Blue Bottle. One of these is gonna be our bold, and then one of these is gonna be our bright. First off, again, we're going left to right. We're gonna start with Allegro. A lot of kind of heavy dark chocolate in there. That's all right. It's pretty tasty. It's pretty good. Now this one is our, this is our bold, which do I know what that means? No, but will I be able to taste it? Let's see. Ah, whoo, uh, there is a, there is a lot going on in my mouth right now. <laughs> uh, this is a coffee that'll punch you in the face. Don't think I like that one. Bright is our next one. The problem is I often find that brightness translates to a very, very high acidity, which isn't always a bad thing. In fact, it can be really, really tasty. I feel with canned, pre-prepared cold brews like this, it doesn't always blend together. These aren't gonna go through. The Allegro one is growing on me. This does have a higher acidity. The flavors are very, very strong, but I kind of like that. I think I'm gonna let this one pass through. Okay, that was round one. We just tasted 15 different cold brews and iced coffees. Now we have six that we will be putting through the cream test. Never gonna get tired of saying that. So to review the favorites once more, we have La Colombe, we have Stoke, and we have Allegro in the front row. And then in the back row, we have Busy, Calafia Farms, and then the medium roast from Starbucks. So we're gonna be doing 90 grams of coffee into each of these. Moving on, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cream to each one of these. This is our La Colombe coffee. Really, really nice. Really reads as like milk chocolate. Again, the Stoke is really, really nice. Really, really sweet. This one definitely passes the cream test. Okay, next up we have Allegro. This was one of the ones that I was a little bit on the fence of, but the cream really does mellow out some of those like sharper tones that I was getting, which makes it a lot nicer. You still get a really, really bold coffee flavor though. Busy. It adds a little bit of texture, but besides that, this is a little bit more of like a washed out flavor profile than I was looking for. So I don't feel great about that one. Next we have Califia Farms. Mm, that's really, really smooth. This one is very tasty. Again, one of the reasons I really, really like adding cream to coffees, especially ones that read initially very much like dark chocolate, kind of like that bitter chocolate taste, is that when you add cream, I find they often mellow out into a really, really delicious, sweet, like milk chocolate flavor, which personally I'm a huge fan of. And then our good old Starbucks. It's tasty, it's very, very smooth, but compared to the rest of these, the flavors aren't nearly as strong. This one gets weaker and weaker the more things you add to it. So, which one of these passed the cream test? I'm definitely gonna say Califia Farms. Definitely gonna say our Stoke. Upon second glance, I'm gonna also put through La Cologne. All of these tasted incredibly good on their own. All of them were accentuated and enhanced by adding cream. So it's time to do a blind taste test and we'll see which one comes out at the very top. So what I've done here is add 100 grams of each one of our top iced coffees. And then underneath them, I have put a sticky note that labels which coffee is in which cup. However, I'm not gonna trust myself to mix these up properly, so I'm gonna have my partner come over here. He's gonna mix all of these up and I'm gonna come back and then we will taste them blind. All right, I found my three cups. <laughs> this is so scary. All right, we're gonna start with number one. Number two. I think I know which one this is. And number three. Oh, maybe not. I'm gonna go through them one more time. It's tricky. I feel like they switched up the second time I tasted them all. This is tough because all of these are very, very tasty. However, if I had to pick one that I really wanted to drink again, one that has really, really nice pronounced flavors, is very, very smooth, very drinkable, but also has that really nice balance between like acidity and sweetness that you look for in an iced coffee, I'd probably have to go with this one right here. So which is this one? It's time to find out. So this one is La Cologne. So after all of that trial and error, I would say 
that La Colombe is my favorite grocery store coffee. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, this is my favorite out of all these coffees, but I'd love to know what you think. Perhaps you can take what I told you here today and pick up some of the ones that sound really good to you and then try them and pick your favorite. So until next time, I hope you have a fantastic week. Now, if you wanna find me anywhere else, I'm of course on Instagram and TikTok at Morgan Drinks Coffee. And if you would love to see more chaotic coffee things happening, feel free to like and subscribe. It's awesome to have everyone here. It's so much fun to do these videos every single week. And there's a lot of really fun stuff kind of coming up in the future in terms of videos and then some other sneaky stuff. Also, uh, if you made it this far, I just wanted to let you know that I also have a text line. So if you wanna text 971-251-172, one, I might just text back. Okay, with that being said, I'm gonna go have a snack, take a nap, drink a little bit more of this, and have a good rest of my day, and I hope you do as well. All right, I'll see you next time.